everybody, this is Panina Taylor. Thank you for joining me on the 30 day unstuck yourself challenge. Today we are on day 14. We are two weeks into the challenge. We are almost halfway there. And I just want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for being on this journey, this courageous journey to make space in our homes and in our lives and to create the opportunity to receive blessings from God physical blessings, emotional blessings, mental blessings, success in our relationships, and taking back, really, reclaiming our lives and the control of our lives that God gave us the ability to do, that God gave us the power to do. Well, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I'd like to encourage you to click on the link below and go visit the introductory video. As I've said in the other videos, you don't have to watch them in order, although it might be preferable to do so. We've already had 13 previous videos. And watch that introductory video. And when you're done with that, go to my website, paninataylor.com slash stuff. Link is right there below also. Slash stuff and enter for a $25 gift voucher for Amazon. And if you like me on Facebook, you get a second entry into the drawing. That's my way of saying thank you for liking me and for joining me on this journey. Well, today I am getting rid of extra blankets. Yep, extra blankets. Don't worry, I'm not throwing them out. I'm going to give them away to a charity that gives blankets out to people who need blankets, need to be warm. But I was wondering, I was thinking about the blanket and what a blanket is, what it does, right? It keeps us warm and cozy. It makes us comfortable. And it got me thinking about the idea of being comfortable. You know, there's a lot of things that we do in life that we don't actually want to do. A lot of things that we want to do that we don't actually do. And we ask ourselves over and over and over again, why am I always doing that? Or why can't I get myself to do whatever? It's something I want to do or want to stop. I'm motivated. I'm interested. Why do I keep on doing what I don't want to do and not do what I do want to do? And the answer is you only do what you want to do. Now granted, there's a part of you that's very subconscious that may be directing the choices that you make and your conscious mind says, no, I know what I want, this is what I want. So why aren't you doing it? And that is because the human default is to be comfortable. It's a lot easier to be uncomfortable in a situation that you are comfortable with than it is to get yourself out of that situation because it's uncomfortable. So what are the things that you're doing in your life that are comfortable for you, that really are not benefiting you, at least in your conscious mind? Things that you want to do that you're not doing, or things that you don't want to do that you are doing, that need adjusting. Make a list, write down, these are the things that I don't want to do anymore, or these are the things that I want to do. And then what you have to do to get out of your comfort zone is make up your mind that you're going to do it. You know, when I was thinking about the, the blanket and about being comfortable, I was thinking about how hard it is sometimes to get out of bed in the morning. In fact, most mornings it's hard to get out of bed because we're comfortable. And yet, if there's something that's really important to us, we will get out of bed like that no matter how comfortable we were sitting in our bed. You know that if there is something really important to you or really exciting, you will get up before sunrise in order to do it. And yet there are other days when it's just really hard to get out of bed. But the truth is, is that the choice is up to you. You can make the decision to get out of bed, you can make the decision to do the things you want to do, and you can make the decision to stop doing the things that you don't want to do. You do have the power to do it. It's all up to you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have an inspired day.